A Valley man reached out to 13 Action News because he's tired of getting the runaround. He says he was left holding the bag for $1,500 after a fender bender and says the other driver's insurance company should be the one footing the bill. Contact 13 investigative reporter Stephanie Zeppelin has the expert advice, new at 6, what to do if this happens to you. Robert says he was preparing to turn right at this intersection from Buffalo onto Westcliff when somebody hit him. It was a surprise. I mean, I was going by him and it's like, dang, that guy just hit me. Robert Ryan says he was heading north on Buffalo in the right turn lane when a U-Haul turned right to get into this parking lot and hit him. He had to replace this window and still has other damage, all totaling almost $1,500. And to add insult to accident, Robert says the U-Haul driver left before police got there and refused to exchange license and insurance information. That meant the insurance company wouldn't pay his claim. But citizens, all they want is that unbiased uh, expert to come by, make the determination if there's a conflict in the stories, and to give them a documentation what they'll need for their private records or insurance. Lieutenant David Jacoby works in Metro's traffic section. He says police serve as an unbiased third party that can tell insurance companies who's really at fault. When we do have those um, uh, response from the traffic unit, or and they respond for those collisions that do have, well, he said, she said, what we t tend to call, and people are pointing in both directions, that, uh, lack of a better word, traffic expert to come out to make the determination. And he had advice for anyone who gets in an accident. After you make sure everyone's okay, call Metro to back up your story. Make sure you exchange information with the other driver. If they refuse or leave the scene, get a license plate, name, or anything that might help police later. Take pictures of the scene and both cars. You can try going to homes or businesses and asking if they have surveillance video that might show what happened. If you leave the scene of a property damage crash, you could face a misdemeanor. But if someone's hurt, it could be a felony. As for Robert, we call that insurance company and they're reopening the claim. Stephanie Zeppelin, 13 Action News. And we looked into this story after Robert emailed us. If you have a story you would like us to look into, just send us an email to 13investigates at ktnv.com and be sure to include your telephone number.